Morning, crazy vapor fan. Oh, uh, you know, I had to go to the doctor this morning. So then I uh, told the doctor that every time I drank coffee, I had a sharp pain in my eye. Doctor looked at me and said, take the spoon out of the cup first, dummy. So, so anyway, we're out. Uh, I'm going to show you this paper copy app. I'm borrowing my grandson's phone. As you can see here, I have a picture of my dog, Buddy. Okay, this paper copy app, you can move it, enlarge it, wherever you want, center it. Okay, and I right, let's just say, you know, normally you'd put a piece of paper on it, and you try to trace over it. Oh my, it moves all over the place. Well, with paper copy, you just put it right where you want. Come over here and hit the lock button. Now, it will not move. So, you can, uh, my, you can put it, and I've already done this, you can put your piece of paper over, and you can copy it, just like that, trace it over. Now it's just ready to go put on a piece of leather. Paper copy, the app, I'll, I'll see if I can put a link to the, to the app in the, in the description box, but, uh, what I've done here. My buddy keeps losing his keys all the time, and he has no key keychains on with his keys. He just has like four or five keys that he carries around, and he loses them all the time. So I figure something big like this attached to it, maybe he won't lose it. And he likes my do he likes the dogs. So I wanted I was gonna try to make a dog paw deal, but I'm not a very good artist. So this is about what I come up with here. A couple octagons. So I've got a bone connecting both shapes here. So the bone will go something like this. I've already wet this leather down. So I'm sure my fat fingers are in the way. And, of course, you know, bones, there's no definite shape to them. So if you accidentally go out of the lines, no big deal. And you can kind of see they're there. I'm going to retrace this one. Now, normally, when you, when you try to retrace something, it don't come out very good. Because you won't, but it's just a bone. So, I say, remember, you gotta press hard to mark with leather. So, I'm gonna go ahead and retrace this one too. But remember, paper copy is the app that you want. It's a pretty cool app. I've done all of my projects with it. So, uh,. I'm going to go ahead and transfer all this, and then I'll show you a little bit of tooling later on. I do have to go pick up some furniture here pretty quick. So, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and uh, I'll be back when uh, after I get the two dogs transferred. I've got Buddy, and I've got his best friend, Mac. One's going to go on each side, like this. And then, um, I do have a new tool where instead of making the little sticking holes for the side stitching, this actually makes the holes for the lacing that I like to do now. So, anyway, I'm going to pause the video and we'll be back. And I'm back. We've got one on there. So, I'm going to try to show you here one-handed. Like I said, GoPro sure would be nice. But the sculpting tool... Sure helps you take out them rough edges. I hope I'm getting this. But it also takes out the bumps from moving the tool. And also you can refine your edges. Sometimes you may screw up and the, the tool can slide because the, the uh, leather is wet. 
So. Um, that's basically how you do it. Basically, you're bringing your object out. And see, like this ear here, you can also three dimension the ear. Like that. Come around. And now, look, you got your ear sticking out. And do the other side like this. Voila, you have a three dimensional ear. And trust me, I'm learning this as I go too. So, you know, if any of you are experienced leather crafters, I'm sure you're sitting here screaming at your screen. You're doing it wrong. Well, I'm sorry, I'm doing it. The only way I know how. So if you think you have a better way to do something, leave comments down here. But right now I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. Um, like I said, and I used my scratching tool for uh, the shading, so that way after... It's dried and colored. I kind of know where to put the uh, uh, colors and the shading. Because these boys are just not brown and white and black and white. They're all sorts of gray and all sorts of brown. But I really love this sculpting tool because you can really define your edges. Just like that. See, and, you know, they don't have to be perfect. I hope I got this. So. So, yeah, I'm probably, probably, uh, not getting this all in shot for you guys. And I do apologize. Because I can't see my screen. I don't know. What's that? So like I said, if any of y'all got a used GoPro that you don't use or some type of camera that can take a memory card, I would sure greatly appreciate it. But I don't want nobody to go out and buy that brand new. I mean, if you got something you're not using, get a hold of me on Twitter at the Crazy Vapor. And you'll see my logo, the uh, red, black, and white Grim Reaper with my pet Reapers. So that's one side pretty well done. Yeah, I do still have a little bit of, and you're always going to have this little bit of tooling there. Um, let me show you, like, something my mom did, I'm sure probably about 40 years ago. As you can see, yeah, she she smoothed out quite a bit, but you can still see some tooling marks in there. But, uh, yeah, she uh, took some major time on this. Uh, I, I, you know, and I use this for reference because it's the only, only thing I have of my mom's leatherworking still. And so I always use that as a reference. For, uh, you know, how to bring stuff out and how to put stuff back on as far as dimensions. So, anyway, I'm going to start on Buddy's side and then we'll go from there. Thank you. Okay. What? So, here is Buddy's picture. And that's what I got from it. As you can see, his ears are uh, three-dimensional. I got them pretty good. Like I said, I've cleaned up these lines, and now that I see it enlarged, it probably could be cleaned up some more. On um, the bone, bone I decided I'm going to paint white. 
Just because uh, I think if I paint it brown, when it gets folded over, it might look like uh, something I've seen. Mac here, Mac's a different story. He's kind of a weird guy to paint, but I think as soon as I get it painted and everything, the 3D will look a lot better. He's more orange up here. Looks like I got a... Yeah. So, as long as it's still wet, you can go back in and and rework it some more. It kind of looks like a little oinker right now with that nose. But, uh, as soon as you get it painted black and shaded a little bit, uh, I think it'll look a lot better. So, uh, anyway, that's what she looks like when she's raw. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and clean that up a little bit more now that I've seen it large. It looks, yeah, I need to clean up this picture some more. But, I do have the ears pretty well 3D. Looks like I gotta fix that part. Fix this part just a little bit. But, uh, maybe go in here. Because this is all going to be orange right here. Um, judging by the picture, I need to... Yeah, he's got that orange patch right there. So, I didn't... Okay. Alrighty, folks. Will you, uh... This, uh, this is, uh, Big Game Weekend. I know I can't say the S word. The Super Game. I can't use it. it. Looks like I got a little bit of leather to clean up here. But that can be burnished off later when it's dry. And see, when you notice your leather's starting to do this, she's uh, drying out on you, and it won't, uh. Kind of weird because I have like a half second delay here, so as I'm, <laughs> as I'm going around, it looks different on the phone. So, make sure your leather is good and wet when you're working it. Otherwise, it just don't work very good. Your, your, your tooling won't make such deep impressions and everything. So, anyway, that's how we... Oh, sorry. I had my, phone, had my hand over the lens. But anyway, that's how we do it. Then, uh, as soon as this, as soon as I get this tool just right, I'll let it dry out, and we'll go ahead and paint it, and then uh, I'll show you how, uh, I use this new hole punch here. I'll probably have to have one of my grandkids run the camera for me. So, see you here in a little bit. Well, congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs. <clears throat> I have to say the word right, Chiefs. Even though I'm a Broncos fan and a diehard Kansas City hater, congratulations. It's been 50 years since you won the Super Bowl. So, anyway, I went ahead and painted the uh, keychains. Um, want to get it done before the Super Bowl. Now that I come back and see that it's dried, I need to uh, uh, re not redo it, but uh, just touch them up just a little bit. Um, also today I went and got a work desk and you can see it's just a, it's a plastic one but it's good and solid and it will take a uh, pounding pretty good. And you can see we got some of my memories up here. This is the painting that I won from Mixed Media Girl. Um, I know that she watches most of my videos so once again, thank you for the painting and uh, have it up here for uh, dexterity. Um, the YouTube play button that my good friend Carmen Acosta made for me. Of course, uh, Max Vapor and Victory Liquid, my two major sponsors. Right now I'm vaping on Max Berries. Very good stuff. And I'm about ready to crack my deal. And I'm not being it. I got a Trump thousand dollar bill and then Bunster's chili chocolate bar. You can see my challenge there. So anyway. Sorry. I happen to hold my phone here, you know. 
So anyway, this is uh, what I've gotten done. This is Mac. I need to uh, redo his, not redo it, but just touch it up a little bit. Around his eyes a little bit messed up. But Buddy here, Buddy, Buddy turned out awesome. And you see, he's quite a, quite layered. And that, to me, that's almost picture-like quality. Almost. I mean, I'm still still practicing my craft here, but uh, they, honestly, this is that's my best work there. I, I love my buddy, Zach. Yeah, Zach just needs a little bit of work, and uh, of course we got the bone here, which I'm kind of thinking more than likely is probably gonna look like a. So the half a bone is gonna look like a white nut sack. <laughs> By the time it gets done folding and everything, but who knows. Um Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and touch up Mac and do the uh black highlights like I did uh my wife's checkbook. And uh tomorrow we'll uh use the hole puncher. I haven't got to use it yet except on it on a uh, piece of the collar that I had left. A little bit like that. Looks really professional. Nice quality holes. So, I'm really excited to get to use it and uh, do some stitching. Um, so anyway, y'all have a great evening. Hope everyone had a safe Super Bowl once again. Uh, congratulations to the Chiefs. So, Y'all have a pleasant evening, and well, I'll come back when uh, I get this done. Thank you.